All right, what's going on? I think I'm working on my tackiest auction find yet. This is a, a moose candelabra. <laughs> Outstanding. Picked three dollars. It was originally eight, but after talking to the guy, he gave it to me th for three because all the antlers are crooked. So if you put the candles on them, it would spray wax all over the place. So what I'm doing is trying to uh, straighten the antlers out. There we go. Straighten out the antlers to uh, make it work better. I'm going to have the candles actually stick. Um, so what I'm doing here is I've bent these about as far as close to uh, level as I can get them. That's pretty close. Mm, so fragile. I don't want to break it. I don't even know how old this thing is. It's probably not very old, but there we go. That's pretty, that's pretty okay there. And now we're going to put some wax on there so they stick. I like these old time uh, spike candelabras the best um, because you can put these cheap candles on them. All right, put that sucker in there. Take the next one. This keeps them from falling out too. there. Hold it straight. Let it tighten up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. This thing is great. So it's my moose candelabra. And I use these uh, cheap candles I get from the grocery store in here. Um, now this is another version of, uh, of one of them. This one I made in metal shop when I was a little kid. Where you just uh, let's bring it down here. There we go. I use it pretty much every night. Where you just uh, poke your candle right in there. Same method. You got to heat it up and put it on there. It may not be the most attractive looking thing in the world, but it really does work really well. So let's see our moose candelabra and see how she works. See what kind of light I can expect out of one of these babies. Would you still call it a candelabra? Or a mousselabra. If there's more than one moose, is it meese? Oh, that baby's throwing out some light. I can get things done with this. Look at that bad boy. Hell yeah. Oh. I love stuff like this, but I'm a complete cheese ball. All right. Last movie trivia for the week. I'm a canine, but I'm mixed with a feral dog. My original owner, before he had me, uh, the dog that he had was a Labrador puppy. But after the apocalypse and the collapse and all the gas and oil was gone, um, 
I always ran shotgun with my uh, master. Think about it. I've been in trouble in the headlines for a while, but we'll leave it at that. You figure it out. Think about who I am. I'm a dog, mind you, but I'm a mean dog. Later.